Yeah, it's been tough. Um, I've always been a big fan of Halloween. So this year, I think it's going to be difficult. Um, I always used to really love it when trick-or-treaters would come to the house. and But since I live in an apartment now, it's going to be something completely different. Um, no trick-or-treaters. Uh, I've never heard of anyone going to a haunted apartment, but I'm going to do my best to uh, you know, make it happen. When I, when I was younger, in high school actually, when I couldn't trick-or-treat anymore, I would uh, dress up as a scarecrow, stuff myself full of newspaper and put on a mask and hat, and I would sit on the front porch and I'd have the bowl of candy in my lap and then when kids would come and take the candy, I'd jump out at them and they would just laugh or be scared and you know, in the end, I think everyone really liked it. Uh, we had a good time and I kind of got a reputation in my neighborhood for being, you know, kind of like the scary Halloween guy. You know, I, I own a fog machine, and that was, I bought it when I lived in a house, but I can't use it now because I'll set off the smoke detector. <clears throat> Living in an apartment and celebrating Halloween, it's, uh, it's completely different than uh, what I'm used to, so. I think it's going to be difficult, yeah, yeah, but I'm not going to let Halloween die. I love it, and uh, I think I always will, no matter what kind of building I live in. So, happy Halloween, and uh, have fun trick-or-treating. Bye-bye.